Welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey, home of South Jersey sports. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. The Philadelphia Wings are 4-1 in their lacrosse season. They will take on the New York Whip Tide on Friday. Let's get win number five. Go Wings, go! The Temple Owls are 10-7 on their college basketball season. They will take on Cincinnati on Wednesday and Pennsylvania on Saturday. Let's get win number 11. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. The LaSalle Explorers are 10 and 7 on the season. They will take on Richmond on Wednesday and VCU on Saturday. Let's get win number 11. The St. Joseph's Hawks are 4 and 14 on the season. They will take on VCU on Tuesday and George Washington on Saturday. Let's get win number 5 of the season. Go St. Joe's! The Villanova Wildcats are 14-3 in their college basketball season. They will take on Butler on Tuesday and Providence on Saturday. Let's get win number 15, Nova! The Penn Quakers are 7-7 in their college basketball season. They will take on Temple on Saturday. Let's get win number 8. The Drexel Dragons are 12-8 on their college basketball season. They will take on Northeastern on Thursday and Hofstra on Saturday. Let's keep winning! The Philadelphia Flyers are 26-17-6 and, and have 58 points. They will take on the Pittsburgh Penguins on Tuesday. Let's get win number 27. Go Flyers, go! The Philadelphia 76ers are 28-16 on the season. They will take on the Toronto Raptors on Wednesday and the Los Angeles Lakers on Saturday. Let's get win number 29. Go Sixers! Good luck to all our local teams. It's time to preview the 2020 NHL All-Star Game. Ryan O'Reilly, Alex Pietrangelo, and Jordan Bennington will represent the host, St. Louis Blues, at the 2020 Honda NHL All-Star Game at Enterprise Center on January 25th. O'Reilly, Pietrangelo, and Bennington, who helped the Blues win their first Stanley Cup championship last season, were named to the Central Division All-Star Team by the NHL Hockey Operations Department on Monday. When O'Reilly was named as the Blues' lone representative in the 2019 All-Star Game on January 2nd of last season, they were in last place in the NHL standings. This season, the Blues, 26-8-6, lead the Western Conference with 58 points and have won their past eight games. The 2020 Honda NHL All-Star Weekend will again consist of a three-game tournament played in a three-on-three -three format featuring four teams, one for each NHL division. The 2020 NHL All-Star Skills Competition will take place at Enterprise Center on January 24th, one day before the game. Good luck to the players in the 2020 NHL All-Star Game. It's time to preview the 2020 NFL Pro Bowl. Lamar Jackson is having a season to remember. It's one that will send him to Florida in late January for one reason or another. The Baltimore Ravens second year phenom is among the starters for the 2020 Pro Bowl in Orlando, Florida. Jackson leads a contingent of 12 Pro Bowl selections for the Ravens, whose representatives in the January Classic include running back Mark Ingram, and free safety, Earl Thomas. The New Orleans Saints lead all NFC teams with seven selections, including quarterback Drew Brees and starters Michael Thomas and Cameron Jordan. The Kansas City Chiefs have six selections for the second year in a row, while the Pittsburgh Steelers and Philadelphia Eagles have five apiece. The 2020 Pro Bowl takes place at Camping World Stadium in Orlando, on January 26th at 3 p.m. Good luck to the players in the 2020 Pro Bowl. It's time to preview Super Bowl 54. The matchup for Super Bowl 54 is set. The Chiefs and 49ers will battle for the Lombardi Trophy in Miami on Sunday, February 2nd. It is the first trip to the Super Bowl for Kansas City since 1970. That's 50 years ago. As for the 49ers, 
that he last made it to the big game in a losing effort in 2013. San Francisco won the Super Bowl five times in franchise history. If they beat the Chiefs, they will tie the Steelers and Patriots for the most Lombardi trophies with six. The AFC champions have been red hot on offense scoring 51 and 35 points in their first two playoff games. After throwing five touchdowns in the divisional playoff win over the Texans, Patrick Mahomes had another impressive performance against the Titans by throwing for three scores, one in another and leading the team in rushing with 53 yards. That's nine total touchdowns in two crucial win or go home games. Meanwhile, the 49ers defense has made their playoff opposition look like junior varsity offenses. Kirk Cousins and the Vikings were able to muster up just 10 points in the divisional round, and Green Bay scored 20 points. In their two postseason games, the 49ers have allowed a total of just 83 rushing yards, and rookie defensive end Nick Bosa and company are having a sack party in their opponent's backfield, racking up eight sacks in the divisional playoff and NFC championship. It's a classic battle of an unstoppable force in the Chiefs offense against an immovable object with the 49ers defense. Good luck to the Chiefs and the 49ers in Super Bowl 54. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments going and we will talk to you next week.